Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Long Haul Commercials here in Tullamore in County Offaly in Ireland. I'm here today to take you on a full tour and test drive in the new Iveco S-Way 570. So I'll take you on a full exterior tour first, then we'll hop inside and go down through all the interior controls and then I'll be getting hooked underneath a loaded trailer and taking it out on the road for a test drive. Let's go! Okay, starting off with the exterior first, finished here in Yamaha Racing Blue Metallic, looking great in today's sun. And let me just show you the light bar up on top there by Kelsa. It has the three white LED lamps and five more smaller LEDs built in to the light bar. And also the two air horns up on top. We have the Iveco light board there at the front as well. That lights up nicely at night. You could also get your company logo put in there if you wish. And you see the light board there at the back, truckboardsireland.com if you want one of them made up for your Iveco S-Way and they also do other brands of trucks as well. Contact them for those. And yeah, let's just move in for another look at the Kelsa bar. So nicely matched in with the black on the front grille as well. So I do like that. More LEDs built into the bar and these lamps here guys are 500 euro each and there's five of them on the front of the truck and they also light up here it's almost like a strobe light where it flashes orange so that is very nice let me get the key out of my pocket that is the key so simply lock unlock and we can do a light test so the daytime running lamps there very nice and your indicators leds very very good and here look we have the lower bar section here that's an extra now you can get a separate splitter piece uh, placed at the bottom of the bumper there from Iveco should you not want this bar you can get a smaller little piece there and yeah if I open up the front grill let me just give you a look behind here so there are two little sliding sections here so you slide one and the other one and we can pull open the grill and I do like this as well this is a remote for tilting the cab so yeah you just press a switch on the dashboard and then you come out here and you uh you can tilt your cab by that remote so nice little option to have and in here is where the night heater is situated right in there and this one also has the option of the cab cooler which is very good and here we have our dipstick and you can top up your oil over here your coolant bottle of course and over here for your washer fluid so yeah it's uh quite nice to have that cab cooler i like that that is an option okay let's close the grill and you see these grill pieces here these are extra so these would normally have a kind of a brushed aluminium look they are made out of plastic but uh yeah they were bought and sprayed in the same color with the cab so that matches in quite nicely so you can get these for your standard grill if you want to add these pieces to it which give it a nice look at the front so let's just stand back for another look at the S-Way. Yeah, and it is sitting on Michelin's all around as well. So we've got a 65 profile at the front and there on the mid lift is also a super single. That's a 55 profile. And then we have 70 profile there on the back axle with your Alcoa aluminum wheels. And yeah, let me just do another light test because I just want to show you the flashing lights here at the lower part here as well. See these lights, look. So they flash amber and they also light up white at night. And you see these, these are from the factory like this. So this may become mandatory on trucks in the future where when you turn left or right, these will also be lighting up along with that one there, of course. So yeah, quite nice to have them. And here as well, we have the sliding fifth wheel. So this truck has an awful lot of options fitted to it. And this is an option as well, the extension here for the catwalk and all the aluminium tanks as well, the air tanks. You can get a 210 liter diesel tank fitted here. We've got a 430 liter diesel tank there on the driver's side. And we have our yellow catwalk there at the back. Uh, I don't know why that's yellow. <laughs> anyway, and let me just press the light test again because I just want to show you those flashing lights there as well. See them there, they flash amber there as well. And also when you apply the brakes, these red lamps will go brighter as well and if i zoom up on top we also have the iveco 
light bar up on top with integrated LEDs also and your full air deflector kit and moving around the rear this is uh, quite unusual and yeah we have a 260 litre diesel tank made out of plastic at the back so if you choose this as an option you just get the normal lamps there at the back so they're not LEDs the LEDs come with a standard S-way so yeah quite handy to have your extra diesel capacity at the back and you see there 570 on the number plate to match in with 570 horsepower that's a thousand euro so that's an expensive number plate on the S-way and we have an isolator switch there for the batteries which are positioned here underneath that cover and moving around as I said already 430 liter on the diesel tank and your two steps going up onto the catwalk and we can push in this air deflector as well just to get access to the catwalk and close that as well there you go so let's open it up and oh yeah let me just show you this safety lock as well so that is this piece here that grabs on to the handle so you can lock it into place there and it grabs onto this handle for extra security at night and you'll probably hear the indicators flashing with the light test so yeah we have the remote control there for the back axle and also for the front axle because the front axle is on an air ride front suspension so yeah that is quite a nice option to have now long haul commercials are bringing in all of the essays with air ride on the front suspension because it's only around a thousand euro extra so it is great to have and of course you can rise and lower the suspension as well and of course extra comfort but if you do burst an airbag it will drive still drive on the springs so that's very good and we have three steps going up into the cab we do have an engine hump here probably about five inches uh, the driver's seat there on leather which is very good we have heated cooled lumbar support and we can also rise the seat and lower it there as well which is very good and let me just pull this cable here and give you a look at the side locker here so this is an okay size uh, the one on the passenger side is even bigger because it doesn't have this section here which is holding all of your towing equipment so yeah pretty okay size there and if i pull the little handle here just one pull and we can open up our bottom locker here as well so that's of a decent size as well you would get maybe 15 20 ratchet straps in there so i like that so yeah let's climb inside the s-way see what the interior is like so we have two armrests there for the driver's seat and also two for the passenger seat full leather on the seats and also on the steering wheel so let me get the key out of my pocket and i'm going to slot it in here and we will press our brake pedal and just press the switch once and it fires into life there you go give it a couple of revs and press the air horn <laughs> there you go and all our functions here for the cruise control and going down through your menu on the dashboard and for scrolling up and down through the menu here as well we also have the eco roll function as well for saving on fuel and down here for your phone calls let me just close the door there and all our electric functions there for the windows and mirrors and we have this extra piece as well this wind deflector so that's an option that was fitted to the s-way but it's kind of hindering the view there between the mirror and the pillar on the passenger side so i would actually have that removed but i suppose they just want to kit out the truck just to show people all of the options and a nice tom tom satellite navigation here and yeah so this truck can communicate back to the dealership should you have a problem with the truck they can diagnose it um, it's a system that you sign up for when you buy the truck and it's available on the truck for three years so yeah quite good to have if you do break down they know what the problem is at the dealership and we can turn off our rear reversing buzzer turn off our air horn exterior lamps here and we have our hill hold function and also for leveling off the uh, suspension there on the back axle and also the uh, that is your mid lift as well and for opening up the roof hatch and you see there look drive neutral reverse your starter switch as you've seen over here we have our diff lock and we have the that is for your electronic cab tilt function so you press that and then operate the remote on the outside behind the grill that is your rocking function should you find yourself in a slippy situation you can rock yourself out of a tricky situation with that 
rocking function which is quite good your anti-slip regulation switch and we can turn off all of the instrument lamps at night as well just by one touch of that switch should you find them distracting at night and yeah all the functions there as i said on the steering wheel and our handbrake there your air conditioning storage in here we have two pto switches here and that is for rising the axle on a trailer and also so this can put pressure on the mid lift or release pressure on the mid lift if you want extra traction on the back axle and we have our night suite, night heater switch there and our lane departure warning and down here we have a nice carpet mat as well and you see there we have a pull out drawer and two cup holders and more cup holders there at the driver's side so let me just stand up here because the the bunk is comfortable i lay on it earlier on there is good comfort from that and you'll see there on the passenger side we have a cooler box so you could also use that for storage and yeah little opening there as well so if i move over this side the driver's side this is your fridge so we do have good storage in that and as i showed you before we have a little opening here for reaching in and taking out a bottle so yeah it works better on the left hand drive trucks because this is closer to the driver okay and we also have integrated there two usbs and you see this so you can plug in your shaver there because this truck has an inverter fitted so that's uh, quite good and you wouldn't believe the amount of usbs so we have two here we have one there and one over here and then we have two here <laughs> there and two more up here for the top bunk and another four over here so 12 usbs guys in the iveco s way so yeah no driver can complain about that <laughs> and uh, yeah we have the pull down bunk with the ladder there as well handy to have your spare bunk and there up on top the roof hatch so we have the fly shade and you can block it out and of course you can open it up and we have the ambient lighting there in blue and also there as well it's reflecting off the sign there as well so truckboardsireland.com as i said now down here as well we have more functions here for your uh, air conditioning and your night heater and we can open and close the sunroof volume up and down on the stereo open and close the windows lighting function and lock the doors and we also have an electronic an electric socket there as well and yeah so yeah quite nicely done two armrests there and two for the passenger yeah so yeah nice functional layout there on the dashboard of the s-way and that is for your catwalk lamp that switch there so yeah quite clear and easy enough to read instrument display there and as i said already we can go up and down through the menu here as well and you see there we have predictive drive aebs eco roll and creep mode very good so yeah i think that just about wraps us up with the interior and yeah we have these three lockers there above and oh yes of course how could i have forgotten the microwave very good to have that so yeah uh, a lot of options ticked on this iveco s way and we have a, a shade there for the passenger and driver side of course and you can also limit this truck to 85 kilometers just by the turn of a switch in behind that panel there on the dashboard and it also has the cameras as well the exterior cameras that are recording all of the time as well so one at either side of the truck and up here as well that's all monitored through there okay so that's it guys let's get behind the wheel of the iveco s way and see what it's like on the road so the normal horn and the air horn <laughs> there you go let's hit the road okay we're just heading out on the bypass and leaving Tullamore in the new Iveco S-Way 570 horsepower from a 13 liter diesel engine the cursor engine as Iveco call it so we're just going to build up a bit of speed here yeah the Traxxon gearbox 
uh, it's not exactly the quickest to change gear. So we're just moving into the hard shoulder here just to let a car pass. And let's move back out here. So yeah, we've got 420 kilowatts from this engine, 2,500 newton meters of torque. So we're grossing around 42 ton with this test trailer. So yeah, it is a good test. And we're already up into 11th gear and we're only doing 65 kilometers, nearly 70 now. So yeah, it did cope quite well with that slight incline there. And we also have a retarder fitted to this 570, a six stage retarder. So we're just going slightly downhill and nobody behind me. I'm just going to test out the retarder. Yeah, it's, it's quite good, quite good. And we can go up and down through our gears manually as well with a little column stock here. So yeah, all quite good. Now it would be good to have more tilt adjustment on this steering. So it's kind of a bit forward too much because I like to sit high, which means my knees are high to the steering wheel. So I would like more tilt adjustment on this steering. So yeah, height wise it's okay, just more tilt backwards. And yeah, we'll just use the, the retarder as well to slow down. Now, the retarder is good, but um, it's definitely not the strongest one I've tested. I've tested stronger retarders than that. Okay, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go out this way, actually. We'll go out, uh, yeah, the Port Lease Burr Road. Okay. Oh yeah, we've got a slight bit of an incline here. I'll just press it on here now. Let's see how it pulls. We are in auto. Yeah, that's good performance. That's pretty good for grossing 42. I would be happy enough with that. So yeah, it's um very comfortable of course, because of course we have the four airbags on the back axle, two airbags on the mid lift, and then the airbags on the front axle. So yeah, it is uh, quite comfortable, this truck. Now just turn off the fan. Now, we do have the controls in behind the steering wheel as well. And we have the lane departure warning there working perfectly. So yeah, the seats are nice and comfortable. We've got the armrests. So you would get a nice comfortable truck in the S-Way. Now we have another downhill section here. I'm going to use the retarder again. Yeah, you see, it's gone down into eighth gear. Oh yes, it, it gets stronger the lower the gear it's in. So yeah, I, although it was revving a bit high, you know, so some other retarders on trucks, they don't really, you know, they give you good strength, but they don't rev as high as that. So yeah, that was revving a bit high there, but still great to have the retarder, um, absolutely, with heavy loads. So I'm just going to go the whole way around the roundabout and we will power it on back up the slope. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad test actually, going up this slope, just to give it a, a good pull. Okay, and we'll listen to the engine as well. already in 10th gear and we're doing 55 nearly 60 kilometers so yeah it's it's a good puller it's a good pulling truck and you may remember the video I shot of the 510 Stralis as well I did consider that a good pulling truck 
and it was pulling the same trailer as we have here. Um, yeah, so they have good pull out of them, uh, the 510 and also this 570. Let me see how close I can get to the roundabout without pressing the brakes. Ninth, eighth, seventh, and now I press the brakes. That's not too bad now, that's not too bad, but the engine does sound loud when it's doing it. That's the only real criticism. It does sound very loud, almost like as if you're revving the engine too much. But yeah, still um, it did slow you down quite well without having to use the brake pedal. Yeah, just a short spin today. I just wanted to see what it was like to pull but it did perform pretty good on the pull and it's powered up here again seventh gear eighth gear bit of an incline is it going to go down at the seventh no it's holding eighth that's good it's holding eighth okay ninth Another bit of a slope, is it going to drop or will it stay in ninth? Will it stay in ninth? Yes, it is, it's staying in ninth gear. Yeah, it's not too bad now, it's not too bad to pull. I would be happy enough with that performance, grossing 42 ton. So that was the test drive in the new Iveco S-Way 570. This one has all the extras guys. So if you were getting this out on demo, you're gonna like what's featured on this truck. And they also have a standard one here as well, if you want to have a look around that. And they also have a four x two, if you prefer that configuration to this six x two. But this is very comfortable and a good pulling truck as well from its 13 liter diesel engine, 2,500 newton meters of torque and if you give this video a thumbs up i might be back to shoot a video on this bonneted iveco so make sure you give it a thumbs up guys but i'm gonna wrap it up there thank you very much for watching and i'll be back again next weekend for a video you're gonna really like i do a bit of off-roading <laughs> that's going up next week guys i'll chat to you then thanks for watching cheers